Now, from now until mid-September, you're going to hear a lot from some religious leaders backing health care reform. They're trying to convince Congress to pass reform this year. Have you seen this ad? It's part of a national campaign called 40 Days for Health Reform. And religious leaders nationwide have also been staging prayer vigils and rallies. And on Wednesday, the president will take part in a webcast with 25 faith-based leaders. Time for a Faces of Faith conversation. And for our conversation this morning, let's bring in Rabbi Jonah Pesner, the director of Just Congregations, a national group of synagogues in Albany. Good morning to you, sir. And also the Reverend Derek Harkins with 19th Street Baptist Church in Washington. He's here as well, actually in Cleveland, though, this morning. I think I got that right. Uh, good morning to you both. Now, this new initiative here, let's be clear. Are you all backing, I'll start with you, Reverend Harkins, are you all backing the president's particular plan, or you are just out there pushing for some kind of a health care reform plan? Well, thanks again for being able to be with you, TJ. And it's important to note that there is not a complete body of legislation in place yet. And what's important to, is to know that the conversation needs to continue. It needs to continue civilly and productively so that we can have a piece of legislation uh, that leads us to health care reform. So when it comes to backing uh, a particular plan, well, that's in process, but we want to make sure millions of people of faith want to make sure that health care reform uh, moves forward. Well, well, Rabbi Pesner, I took a shot at it there with Reverend, Reverend Harkins. He kind of got around it a little bit, but I want to ask you as well, Rabbi. Do you, I, I know we have, uh, I think it's actually five different committees who are working up there on Capitol Hill. There's not one piece of legislation yet, but the president, President Obama, has laid out certain things that he does want in that legislation. Are you all, this group, in support of what you're hearing coming from the president as far as some of the specifics of a plan. Well, first, let me also thank you, TJ, for advancing this important conversation. The faith community is behind health reform in America. And Reverend Harkins, it's an honor to be with you as well this morning. Thank you. Uh, we support a lot of what the president is saying. We're looking forward to having a conversation with him uh, just this coming Wednesday. The important thing is that this health reform plan has got to be good for the working families of America who right now are suffering with health care debt, have pre-existing conditions, the system is broken and it needs a fix, and the faith voice is clear on this, DJ. And, uh, and, and Rabbi, let me bring you back in here, sir. Um, I guess what place, I mean, does religion play in, um, in, a, in a, I guess you could call it the policy issue, certainly, but specifically in health care? Does religion play a more specific role in health care? You know, TJ, I think it's a great question, and religion plays an important role in the health care debate for two reasons. First, there is the ancient moral imperative of all three of the Abrahamic traditions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, are all clear on this. It says in the book of Genesis that every human being is created in God's image, and we take that very seriously. Health care is an obligation and a right, not a privilege. But secondarily, in our pews, in our churches, in our synagogues, in our mosques, we hear every day when we pastor the real stories of suffering. I had one man who came to me to share that he was full of dread and anxiety because his 25-year-old daughter was going to go off the family health plan because she aged off and he was living in dread and I thought mm. what kind of a country is this if a father has to live in fear of his daughter's 25th birthday so when we hear these stories in our pews we have to mobilize and organize and act on them to protect the folks at the grassroots well, well Reverend Harkins uh, kinda on that point there certainly you, you want to push uh, the, the uh, legislators or our congressmen and women to actually get something done but I guess you're mobilizing a lot of the congregations around the country as well um, what role, I guess, can you play and other pastors, ministers, rabbis, whatever it may be, people will listen to you guys. Uh, they will listen to what uh, you all are saying to us as we sit in the pew. So do you all, are you all in a unique position here to kind of wield some power and affect influence in this particular policy debate? Well, and I think as the rabbis very well stated, I, part of that is just helping people to understand that there's a real compelling sense of this that comes from our faith traditions. You know, if I were back in the pool, 19th Street Baptist this morning, I'd lift a text and it probably would be Matthew 25, 36. It simply says, I was sick and you came and took care of me. And I think also helping people to understand that at a very grassroots level, uh, influencing legislators, influencing uh, the government to understand that this, this is a, a, a reform issue that, that deals in people's lives. 
I deal with people in my congregation uh, on one end of the spectrum who are seniors and they're always concerned about catastrophic illness and whether or not that will not only realign their own lives but the lives of their families. And then I also deal with young people who are entering the job market and they're worried about whether they can afford health insurance that's adequate or if they were to either lose their job or change their jobs, if there's any possibility that their coverage would be able to continue. So, so these are issues that, that uh, people face in pews, in congregations all across America. So I think helping people to understand the, the, the compelling nature of this issue is, is very much what we can do. We'll be uh, hopefully preaching, teaching, and, and, and encouraging people about this through these next 40 days and certainly beyond. Awesome. Preaching and teaching needs to be going on instead of a lot of this yelling back and forth we have been hearing. So certainly good luck to you both. Uh, Reverend Derek Harkins, uh, uh, Rabbi Jonah Pesner, uh, Pesner, excuse me, wish we could uh, spend some more time with you guys. I know you all had the big phone call coming up with the president on Wednesday, but uh, we'll be keeping an eye on you over the next 40 days of this TJ, campaign. Let me invite people yep. to, to join us at faithforhealth.org okay. and be a part of that call. Well, by all means. Sir, thank you so much for that. You guys have a good time.